It's Talk Funny, a podcast by Mark Bailey and other comics from all over. We came to Japan only to find out that, unlike Vegas, what happens on the Talk Funny podcast does not stay on the podcast. The Talk Funny podcast from Nagoya Radio.com and Nagoya Comedy. Here's Mark Bailey. Mark Bailey back with Steve Howard hey. on Talk Funny. So we have the infamous Chinese melatonin story, <laughs> which I've never done on the podcast before. I was waiting for the statute of limitations uh, because there's so many laws broken <laughs> in two countries, uh, maybe three. And so back in the States, probably 11, 12 years ago. Uh, yeah, 20, yeah, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 100 20, years 20, ago. 100 years ago. What uh, are the lawyers saying? <laughs> my, when my parents were alive, they like melatonin, which is legal, mm-hmm. and it's basically not even really a vitamin. It's just an element in yeah. your, not really a vitamin, it's a supplement. Yeah, supplement. But it exists in your body, and it helps you sleep. So I was used to buying these, and my parents were taking, I think it, it should take one to two. They were taking five to ten. Oh, <laughs> but it's not lethal, and it's just, you know, a supplement. Yeah. It doesn't hurt you. So before I left, I thought, it'd be great if I could get like 200 vials of those. <laughs> so I went, couldn't find them. I bought as much as I could from the pharmacies, and then I found this pharmacy in the back parking lot of a warehouse, <laughs> <laughs> and it said pharmacy. <laughs> Spelled with an F. <laughs> <laughs> no cameras, no street lights. And I went there in the daytime, and they had like a huge row, I guess 40 vials, and I just took them all of said melatonin. Now, melatonin is supposed to be yellow or white yeah. in color. And I didn't, of course, I didn't open them until I got to my hotel. I don't stay with my parents. Mm. You know, when my parents take five to ten, I weigh more. Maybe I could take twelve. <laughs> you know? So I took four of these. I took five. I took four, <laughs> and I dropped one, and I drank some water, and then I was going to pick one up, and the four hit. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And what this was, it turned out it wasn't melatonin. It was oxycotton. <laughs> And it was on the market, and I was not supposed to be picking that up. They, they, somebody else had to pick up. When I went there, they said, are you here to get the melatonin? I said, yeah, how did you know that? Slight you read my mind. Chinese people are brilliant. Yeah. They said, but well, your melatonin is on row seven. Yeah, they said, you're here to pick up the uh, the melatonin and then wink, wink. But they're trying, you can't tell when Chinese people are winking. <laughs> <Tell them. laughs> she had her eyes closed. I couldn't tell she was winking. That's not racist, by the way. I'm Stop. in Japan. <laughs> Open your eyes and talk to me. <laughs> Listen, we we both raised half Asian children. Yeah. We both married Asian women. Okay? And we've seen anime. We know you have big eyes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good line. You see you on stage. <laughs> so I went. They were like really guarded. There's like a girl at the front. She goes, "Are you here for melatonin?" I'm like, "Yeah, how did you know that?" It's aisle seven on the right, top shelf. <laughs> But there was melatonin in other places. I'm like, well, I yeah, guess yeah, I picked top shelf. Why didn't she? Well, maybe the other is inspired. And it's only 4,000% more than the usual one you buy. But they, the, the weird thing is they didn't charge me. Hmm. <laughs> so that's what I'm like. This is weird. I'm lucky. I said, so I got 40 of them. It's going to be like 7,000 yen, hmm. 70, 80 bucks. She's got my money on. She goes, what are you doing? <laughs> You pay later. I pay later. <laughs> I'm not coming back. She goes, yeah, you are. <laughs> You're the white guy that's flying to Hong Kong right after this, right? You gotta catch your, <laughs> come on, Joe. Got to catch your flight, Joe, to Hong Kong. <laughs> Hong Kong. <laughs> like a white, what is it? Uh, Jim, the African name is a joke. He goes, Hispanic women, newscasters, they can do like today in Venezuela. <laughs> but if a white guy goes, in Hong Kong, he gets fired. <laughs> today in Shanghai. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I bought it and I had like hundred bucks out. She goes, "You'll pay later." I'm like, well, how, do you, "How do you know <laughs> what?" For, for sure. so, can I, am I going to get busted? Like walking out? I'm like, "You're going to think it's something you want tomorrow. And come back and pay us." <laughs> okay, but I'm leaving tomorrow. But anyway. <laughs> lucky, lucky me. Yeah, no alarm bells at all. <laughs> so I went to the hotel. I took those. So normal oxycotton is blue and white. The white is acetaminophen. It's basically Tylenol. Uh, the blue is pure oxycotton. These pills were 100% blue. 
They're pure Oxycontin. Oh, jeez. Okay, and, well, blue melatonin. You know, who knows, man? They keep coming up with new ways. You know, grocery stores keep coming up with new ways. Pharmacies keep coming up with new ways for you to keep coming back, like not charging you for $8,000 worth of Oxycontin. And the moral is, rednecks in Florida, you should like Chinese people. Exactly. So I took these. So the difference is pure Oxycontin, it won't kill you. It will addict you. And it's pure blue. Mixed Oxycontin is mixed with acetaminophen, and if you overdose on that, it's the acetaminophen that kills uh, your liver. Yeah. You take five of those, you're dead. Yeah, and it there's no you. way to save you, apparently. Yeah. They're just cutting it to save money. Mm. So they give you half Oxycontin and half acetaminophen. Mm. And I had no interest in any of this. I just learned about this from my rehab nurse. <laughs> God bless you, Keiko. Uh, <laughs> I'm so glad she was able to get you off melatonin, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad that I didn't give any of that crap, any of that, literally, yeah. that S to my parents. Right. Would have killed them. Yeah, or anyone else. Yeah. I mean, I was in my 50s, and it almost killed me. Yeah. So I'm taking these just to get to sleep. By the time I get to the airport, I'm just like slinking along the walls. I mean, the walls, <laughs> it's summer, and the walls are cool, and I'm just <laughs> touching the walls. And then when nobody's looking, I'm laying on the floors. The entrance agent at the airlines, are you drunk? Nope. I'm not drunk. <laughs> are you okay? You on medication? Yeah, I'm on uh, high blood pressure medication. Did you take too much? <laughs> not fine. <laughs> You're not fine, sir. Sir. He said, okay, you can get on the plane. So I go into the bathroom. <laughs> sir. <laughs> That's the plane. <laughs> All right, so. I, I don't need to get on the plane. I'm high already. <laughs> so, Ten miles high. All right. So I get to Japan. On the plane, I didn't take it. So. Starting to get jittery. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Never been nervous on a plane before. Didn't drink any coffee. <laughs> I get home and I walk in. I lay my suitcases down. On the taxi home, uh, I took a couple of the Oxycontin, but which I thought were melatonin, because I'm going to sleep. I have to work the next day. <laughs> so I come in, put my suitcase down, collapse on the floor. Wife doesn't come down. <laughs> I wake up, Jesus, I got to be at work in an hour. I mean, I would have left in uh, 10 minutes from now. I got to go. I'm late. So I go to my university. They have nice wooden floors, and they're cold. And so I go in, I write something on the board. I can barely write with my handwriting. I'm literally sliding on the street. I can't ride a bike. It's just wobbly. Jeez. I'm just walking the bike. Uh, zigzag, zigzag. Get to the school, write on the board an illegible script. <laughs> right about your last week for an hour, I'll be back. I go to another room, I just collapse on the floor. I just have to see a floor, I have to be on it. I have to be on the floor. So a cleaning lady looks in the window and sees me on the floor, and she calls security. <laughs> the security comes, and they're like, uh, are you okay? I'm like, I'm not okay. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Are you a teacher? I'm a teacher. <laughs> I'm educated. <laughs> My muscles, it's like oh, horse, basically yeah. it feels like horse trick over yeah. there. And you can't control your muscles, right. you can't, and you definitely can't stand. Yeah. Sitting is okay, but if you sit floor, uh, you're going for it. It's like Tim Ferriss. <laughs> Tim Ferriss says, you know, <laughs> just lay on the floor, and you'll impress people because they'll know that you do what you want to do. Or take pure oxycontin, and I guarantee you, you'll be on the floor because it feels good because yeah. it's just cold floor. You'll be floored. They won't. <laughs> Security came, and they left me, and they said, don't lay on the floor. And I said, don't come back to the third floor. I'll be all over these floors. The funny thing is, my wife never asked me anything. She has no idea where money goes from. You know, I'm just sliding. My bedroom is on the third floor. A big surprise to you, Steve. My wife and I don't sleep together anymore. Just hold your shock. Right. So I'm on the third floor. She's on the second floor. I can't walk down the stairs. So I sit and slide and sit and slide down the stairs. And this takes a long time. And she sees me doing this. You have any questions, honey? <laughs> nope. You did a shy. Have a good day. Go and come back. You did a shy. The dog, the dog licked me twice and had a seizure. <laughs> dog is looking at me like, what the yeah. hell, man? Yeah, the dog knows something's wrong. And the dog, he doesn't like the smell yeah. of um, melatonin. Cotton. <laughs> it smells like heroin. Yeah, because it is heroin. Yeah. So he had a future as a drug dog. And <laughs> <laughs> he could be a dog sniffer, but he'd be like. He, he'd go to a drug scene and go, that smells like my owner. Yeah. <laughs> it smells like a Tuesday. <laughs> it smells like a school day for my owner. <laughs> so finally, <laughs> I realized after like three days, am I having a seizure? Am I having a stroke? Mm -hmm. What happened? 
So I went, uh, I don't want to implicate the hospital, but it's very close to our illustrious studios. <laughs> and I walked in. It's actually a hospital for kidneys and liver. Mm. And I walked in because I just needed help. I just found the, the nearest hospital. Yeah. Actually, I was laying outside on the sidewalk, oh, and a cop came up, and he goes, what are you doing? He thought it was special, and he said, where's your uh, handler? And I said, she's in Minatoku. He said, you give her a call. Get off the street, okay? I'm an office. I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur. He's like, it's not after 6 o'clock. We only let people pass out on the street in this neighborhood after 6 o'clock. Yeah, he said, what are you doing on the pavement? I said, it's cool on the pavement. It feels good. So anyway... I don't want to implicate them, but across the street and up away is the hospital, the closest one I could find. I walked in, and I said, I need a nurse to help me. I don't know what's wrong with me. And I can't guarantee it's the organs of kidney and liver. I have no idea. I, I can't stand up. I have a muscle problem. They're like, well, the muscle hospital is over across. <laughs> and, I, and I laid down on the floor. And I said, I can't leave. <laughs> so so what, what's it like trying to speak Japanese while you're on Oxy? <laughs> yeah, it's like a... <laughs> it's like a it's like a Smothers Brothers episode. You know? <laughs> they're like, "Well, his accent is really autistic. <laughs> it's really Asperger's." Not the retard, though. The mean nurse comes out. The sweet nurse turned out to be my uh, rehab nurse, but the mean nurse—it's good cop, bad cop. <laughs> which leads me to its um, callback. In Japan, they have training for good cop, bad cop, mm. but. They never have the training for the good cop. <laughs> it's, it was discontinued. You only have bad cop. And it's almost always one cop. It's never yeah. two cops. It's bad cop, worst cop. <laughs> All right, so I go in, I collapse. I say, I need a nurse. I don't know what's wrong with me. Mm. And so the mean nurse comes out and goes, you can't lay down in the <laughs> lobby. And I said, but I can't stand up in the lobby. <laughs> she goes, well, we're going to have to get a gurney for you. I said, so let's do it. <laughs> So she said, but stop laying down. I said, that's why I'm here. I can't <laughs> stop laying down. And she goes, you've got to get up or we're going to call emergency services. I, I'm in a hospital. <laughs> she goes, but we don't think you have an organ problem. I said, I have some problem. Can you agree that when you told me three times to get up and I can't, that I have a problem? So they put me in a gurney, take me back, do a blood test. Then the nice nurse comes in and she goes, so what are you on? <laughs> I said, well, I'm hoping you could tell me. I said, I'm on melatonin. She goes, get the <laughs> melatonin. It's, uh, it's 80 items on both sides of the paper. <laughs> melatonin? She said in Japanese. I said in Japanese, I think it's melatonin. Melatonin. She says, oxycotton, 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 oxycotton. Do you think it might be on oxycontin? I said, well, now that you <laughs> mentioned it. <laughs> I said, but no, I didn't willingly take that. She goes, well, what did you take? Where did you go? I said, and I told her, I'm in New York, and I took melatonin for sleep. What color was it? I said, it was blue. She goes, but you took it before. I said, yeah, it was yellow and white before. This time it's blue. You don't think it's weird? I mean, thank God it didn't happen with fentanyl. I mean, yeah, 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 for sure. Yep, 100%. And uh, fentanyl is, from what I understand, is double pure oxycontin. Yep. No, it's and what a hundred times more powerful than heroin or something like that. So, so she did the blood test and she said, "So would it surprise you if I said you're addicted to oxycotton?" And I said, "Well, I'm, I thought I was addicted to melatonin, she <laughs> goes, but that's not addictive." <laughs> she was really nice, and I, yeah. I still know her. And I don't want to yeah. disparage her. And then I have a friend in the states, and he's he's uh, narcotics division, New York City. I took pictures and I sent to him and he goes, how the hell did you smuggle that in? <laughs> I said, let's not use the word smuggle. <laughs> By the way, I made, no, I made no money from this. I paid money for rehab. <laughs> I could have finessed this much better. <laughs> no money was made after this drug deal. I mean, no drug. There no was animals were harmed. No yeah. money was made yeah. in the making of this um, <laughs> podcast. So she said, why are you taking blue pills when you know it's supposed to be white? I'm like, you know, America is innovative. I, I don't know. <laughs> and then I talked to my narcotics uh, friend in the States and he goes, Dude, there's a Chinese mob is looking for you. <laughs> they don't know who you are. <laughs> but you stole them. Oh, geez. So I think it turned out to be $80,000 worth of us pure oxycontin. <laughs> we need to start our own show for Mark. We'll call it, this isn't happening, but it did. <laughs> <laughs> it was $80,000 that they were owed. Oh, but at street value, it's like maybe over a million. Gosh. My narc friend is like, uh, delete my address. <laughs> and I haven't heard from him since. So they kept putting insulin and they kept putting uh, IVs. And mm -hmm. I had to go 
It was a year and a half of rehab. Wow. Two times a week. Jeez. Because I had no muscle, and I, I was just like, you know, doing the muscle, mm. raising my arms, mm. and what's your name, and where do you live, and where are you from, <laughs> and where were you born, what day is it, what year is it, who's you, the president? Have you done any more oxy recently? <laughs> I'm thinking as a New Yorker, I didn't pay anything for these, but I was like, these will last me a year or two, <laughs> <laughs> or until I OD. And she, I gave her the bottle. When I went there, she said, next time you come, you bring all of it. So I brought it all. I thought they were just gonna compare, but I should have known they're gonna destroy it. So she destroyed all of it. I'm like, what about the bottle I gave you? Like, can I, I can't sleep tonight? She goes, oh, you're gonna sleep tonight. We're putting you under. It was a year and a half of rehab. Hello, podcast, my name. My name is Gary. <laughs> my name is Gary. <laughs> Gary Chavon. <laughs> so she said, just be careful when you buy something. Yeah. Like when you buy something. Like, oh, Hershey's are blue now? <laughs> yeah. Be careful when you go to buy something and they don't ask you to pay for You're it. You're going to pay for it. <laughs> You're going to pay eventually. <laughs> they, but the Chinese clerk was right. Eventually, I did pay. <laughs> An ass load for uh, rehab. Well, you know, custom Japanese customs, they should hire you as a consultant. <laughs> yeah. Know? Well, here's the zinger is that insurance in Japan doesn't cover rehab because they <laughs> don't want drug addicts. Right. If you're a foreigner. Alcoholics are okay, but no drug okay. addicts. Alcoholics, yeah. we call that Toyota Inc. Yeah, yeah. Smoke all you want, but we don't like drug addicts. <laughs> don't use drugs. We in Japan invented methamphetamine, but we don't want drug addicts. <laughs> Which is not natural. <laughs> we made it in a lab. I have to end this with saying, don't try what I did. Don't try to rip <laughs> off the Chinese mob. My um, narcotics uh, cop friend, he was escorting me. He said, <laughs> he said, they don't have pictures of you, but they have a description of you. And they're looking for white guys in Chinatown. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. so Gary and Javon. If you want to go to Chinatown, New York, <laughs> it's a beautiful time of the year. <laughs> but <laughs> if you go into any pharmacies, just don't pay. <laughs> but yeah, when I was on that, it was horrible. You wake up and you go back to sleep. And you wake up like, okay, I know I have a job. So you plop onto the floor and you slide. You're just on your back the whole time. It's <laughs> kind of like Madonna. And you're on your back the whole time. And you're on your back the whole time <laughs> and you're sliding toward the door. And then you open the door. Then you plop down the stairs and you pretend to take your bike because that would be weird if you didn't take your bicycle. <laughs> and then you sit, go down the stairs. I'm just sitting, 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 going down, 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 down. Finally, somebody comes. I lay down completely horizontally. Just lay down. <laughs> Jeez. They get to school. I lay down horizontally. <laughs> it's a year, a year of this. <laughs> and then when the withdrawals happen, it was like quitting smoking, drinking chocolate and coffee at the same time. Jeez. Just didn't sleep. Just everything itches, Ugh. and noises are very loud. My uh, boss at one of the universities is like, hey, Mark, what I heard was, hey, what? <laughs> uh, why are you so jumpy? <laughs> you talk lower. <laughs> just want to ask, just, so everybody else shut up. <laughs> so it's, uh, please, please don't do it. You know what? F melatonin. It's really not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth the risk. All right. Anything you want to say? Um, no, I fortunately don't have any drug addiction stories of my own. <laughs> All right, we'll be back next episode. We're going to talk about comic voice and reading the room. Mark Bailey and Steve Howard on Talk Funny. <laughs>